So friend, the next part that we are looking at is uh, how to use your uh, memory function or these uh, val uh, buttons where you store values effectively in when you are using for uh, bigger calculations. Okay. So to, to, to start off with this, let us assume that uh, you are doing a bond evaluation and you are getting uh, four numbers basically, four, uh, three outcomes out of that and you have to add all three of them. So first outcome is this second outcome. And third outcome and the first outcome answer is 40 okay the second outcome answer is 30 and third outcome answer is 20 you're supposed to add all of them and get your final answer you're supposed to add all of them and get the final answer so how do we quickly do it the traditional method that we can use is uh, the storage function for each button now how do I do it? I'll, use, I'll first show the storage, uh, your traditional function, and then how you can effectively use the shortcut. So the first, suppose I did the first calculation and I get the answer of 40. I will store it in one, okay? And I do the second calculation, I get the answer which is 30. I store it, store it in second, and I then go into the third calculation, I get the answer 20. I store it in 20, and then. I will have to recall each number and add. Let's recall 1 plus, recall 2 plus, recall 3. That will give me an answer of 90, right? But how do I, how do I use effectively? How do I solve this uh, sum effectively? I can do is, I can uh, first, in first do the calculation of 40, okay? And I get the answer uh, 40 and I store it suppose I'm storing it in 7 so I'm, I've put in STO 7 because I stored it on 7 okay and then I do the second calculation which gives me an answer of 30 okay how do I add it to 40 okay I can do something which will add to 40 and again store that added number to 7 okay how can I do it I have 30 on my screen. I will go. I will go and do STO. Okay, plus seven. What I did STO plus and seven. Why seven? Because the earlier number was stored on seven. Okay. Let us quickly check what is now saved in number seven. It is 70. That is 40 plus 30. Okay. Now. The third calculation 20 suppose I go and input do the third calculation okay and I want to store that third calculation to the value which is already stored in over here in 7 so how do I do it I have, I have 20 on my screen you can see that I'll have to do STO plus 7 that means I did STO plus 7 and let me re quickly check what is the number that is stored in 7 that is your 90 and that was similar to our earlier answer so there is there is two method to solve this uh, this type of sum is you keep on saving your number into uh, saving your calculation into different numbers and then recall each one of them and add but that will waste a lot of your memory because if suppose you are doing a complex bond valuation you might have to use all of these uh, for for your calculation so that becomes pretty tricky so it's easier to use only one number which is seven and keep on doing that calculation in that same number let us let us quickly see one more example okay uh, let us quickly see one more example and uh, how do we do it okay suppose you are doing a bond valuation cal calculation and you want to you are doing first calculation and you are getting an answer of 50 okay 50 and then you are doing the second calculation and you're getting an answer of 70 okay you want to add these two answers and you're doing the third calculation and you're getting the answer of 20 and you want to add again so what would be the answer we, we know that for sure it's going to be 140 Right, because it's 50, 70 plus 20. Now, how, how I do it uh, effectively in the calculator? 
I'll first uh, go and press 70. Okay, I will I'll store it back. I'll store it to 1. Okay, so I did 70. I did STO1. Okay, then I do this. I did the oh, sorry, I did mistake. Okay, so 70. Uh, so let, let's let me repeat it's 50 and let me store that number into 1. So this becomes your 50 value which is stored. Okay, and uh, let me do the second calculation. Okay, which is basically your 70. And I want to store back that number 70 to the calculation which is done in saved in number 1. So I will do STO plus 1. This will give me the answer uh, recall 1. That is your 120. So I input it first 70. Then STO plus 1. This will give me an answer of 120. That is the value stored currently in your one number. I did the third calculation which is 20 okay and I want to store that again to the number 1 which is already stored value. I will go to STO plus 1 okay so I, I input it 20 STO plus 1 and I recall what is now stored in 1 Okay, sorry, that is 20 is not stored. We incorrectly added 20. STO plus 1. Okay. Yeah, it's 140. So this is an effective way to do that calculation.